Paul Holden and Trevor Dan with the goals for London. They scored the both in the second period. There's the man of the hour, John Tanner, the London Knights. He's been the story in this game. Power play after power play. O'Donnell back at the line. Sudbury 0 for 8 on the power play. They've given up a shorthanded goal. O'Donnell snaps it past Crombie, who was rushing it. See some room. Derek Etches clears it in. Tanner will just dish off. O'Donnell dumps it back in. And the puck touch with a high stick. Well, the power play has really gotten the Wolves into big trouble tonight. 0 for 8. Tim McKenzie can't be too happy about that. He really likes the high finesse game. He likes to see a clean hockey game. He likes to see a fast game. And really stresses the skill aspect of the Sudbury Wolves. I know he'd like to see them do some finishing tonight on all the great plays they're making. Matthews and McKay wrestle around the two centermen. Matthews gets it in. Leading it up for Derek Etches, sharp angle. Knocked away by Tanner. O'Donnell up the line, can't keep it in. McKay up ahead to DeBrus, coming in with Crombie, shoots, scores! Scores his 20th goal of the season, Paul. And we talked about him being the toughest player in the OHL. We said he's not without skill. Watch him snap this one up underneath the crossbar. Just beats Gaverdi. Gaverdi was looking for the pass over to number 14, Crombie. The brusque used Crombie as a decoy, came in and just snapped a hard one right over Gaverdi's glove and up under the crossbar. You can see Gaverdi looking over. He was casting his eyes over into the slot to see if perhaps the puck might be going over there. Here's Boyd clearing it in for London. And over 5,000 people in this Sudbury Arena. Pretty quiet right now. And one wolf <laughs> that hasn't moved. Wade Bartley, long pass out at center. Tanner golfing it back out. Very confident Tanner is these days. He steps out and takes matters into his own hands. Up there, puck stolen by Martel, centers it in front of the net for Anderson. Just bounced over his stick. Anderson crunched in the corner by Jason Young. That's Barry Young wrapped around at number three. Back to Boyd, shoots, blocked by Kovacs. Boyd, another chance, reloads and fires. The Knights are all over them right now. Having a tough time clearing the puck out of their own end. Boyd with a couple of swipes at that. He's got to be enjoying this game. A native of Sudbury, played for the Sudbury Wolves, was traded to the Windsor Spitfires in the deal that brought David Gaverdi over. And then after that, was traded from Windsor over to London. Wayne Maxner really likes Boyd. He likes to put him out there with Corvo, two hard shooting defensemen. And he thinks it's been a great trade to get with the Windsor Spitfires to bring Boyd over. 11.15 to go. Adam Bennett, out at center, DiPietro, up to Jason Young, drops it back, a no-look pass, and you could tell. Puck tipped up over the glass. 11 minutes exactly to go in the third period. A lone wolf and a lone raccoon in attendance. Yeah, all right, save yourself the trouble. Don't call. I know it was a fox. <laughs> That's what you get for not looking at the monitor. Big shot. Kicked away by Gavardi. Chitteroni, like a buzzsaw along the boards, trying to cut his way in. Batiste banks it up. O'Donnell, a rather cursory swipe at that buck. Jason Young trying to fish it in. DiPietro diving. And nothing is rolling for Paul DiPietro and the Wolves. 
10.32 to go. Got to be frustrating for him. The London Knights were on the flip side of this score the last time they were in here. And they were down three goals. They managed to roar back and tie it up with seven seconds left in the game. Now the challenge is for the Sudbury Wolves to do the same. As DePietro goes off the ice, they have not been generating a lot of offensive chances when DePietro or Cahill are not on the ice. Now Cahill's out there now. Be interesting to see if he can get something going. He's a magician with the puck number 12 for the Wolves, but he likes to pass more than he likes to shoot and set up his wingers. Very young, number three for Sudbury. Crombie in tight to check him. Puck back to the line. Corvo shoots. Tip wide. DeBrusque along the boards. McKay chops it back in. Crombie trying to get after it. Gavardi clearing it up around the boards. Cahill out at center. Great move. Cahill shoots. In back of the net, McVicker, number 24 after it. He's got it. To Cahill, back of the goal. Etches is in front, can't get it to him. McVicker keeps the chase on. Crombie trying to freeze it up, number 14 there for the Knights. Get some help. 9.39 to play in the third period. Sudbury still looking for the first. I think probably one of the most entertaining games that we have seen this year. 3-0 London leading Sudbury. No question, Paul. And a 3-0 deficit is by no means insurmountable for this Sudbury Wolves hockey team. John Batiste. Coming in over the blue line. Puck bouncing its way through. Good work up there by Batiste and Don LeBlanc, number 17, who kind of chopped it on goal. Sinitian up along the boards. Very young. Here's Sinitian. Wade Bartley stepping up. Pulls it around, Sinitian. And that is about where the Wolves have been getting stopped all night, just at that blue line or just inside. The Knights standing tough along their own line. They really seem to have lost a lot of the cohesiveness they had earlier. It seems like every guy's trying to do it himself. DePietro to Cittaroni, weak backhander, gets to the slot, but not much further. O'Donnell out at center, ragging the puck. Martel watching him. DePietro all the way back, 8.40 to go. Ken McKenzie short in his bench. He's going with his big lines every other shift here. DePietro trying to do it himself. Held up on the play. Holden manages to get it out with some help. 8.28 to play, third period. And the faceoff coming back down into the London end, icing. Well, she still looks pretty happy despite the fact the home team hasn't scored yet. Although maybe she's from London. Well, we're seeing a heck of a hockey game. There's no question about that. And maybe it's going to take somebody like a Sean O'Donnell, uh, an unheralded defensive player, to get the Wolves on the board and get things going here, because certainly this crowd, the London Knights have taken this crowd out of the game. We'll try to get back at that sign if the kids can get a grip on it there. Nothing to score off the face out. Puck cleared out. O'Donnell all the way back to get it. Matthews can't connect with the pass at center. O'Donnell, a little lazy puck center right in front, rolling in the goal crease. The Knights capitalizing on some lackadaisical play by the Wolves. Todd Lusko, number 16. Great chance in front. The Wolves moving in slow motion in their own zone in the last few seconds. Glenn Murray finally picks it up. Against Guy, can't get around him. Steve Boyd, long pass out at center. O'Donnell locks it back up. Matthew steps in, off the boards. Sonmez couldn't get it. O'Donnell along the boards. Into Sanmez, trying to center it. Swept away by Mark Guy. Sanmez in the corner to LaForge. Back pass Sanmez. Murray's up there, number 27. He couldn't get it. 
Barkley at the line. Great work to keep it in. Shooting. That's tipped. Mark Guy got his stick on it. Tanner out of his net. Plays it around the boards. Murray. Back in the net. Son has bumping with Mark Guy. LaForge pokes it loose. Off the boards, O'Donnell pinching well in. And this should get a face off down on the London end. 6.50 to go in the third period. A 3 0 hockey team, London on top. Coming up at the conclusion of tonight's game, the TSN turning point.